Hi friends, my name is April Perry and today I'm going to talk about how you can have a totally clean desk and a totally calm mind every single day. Even if you have a demanding job or a busy family or just a lot going on in your life, your desk and your mind can be clear and you can actually work on the things that matter most to you every day. And it isn't hard, it's just that you need a system. So in order to make this more visual and step-by-step, I have this diagram that I'm gonna walk you through to show you how it works. Now over here, we have all the stuff that comes into your life. You have mail, you have things on your phone, text, emails, alerts, ideas, messages, things maybe in your kids' backpacks, post-it notes, papers. There's a lot that comes into our lives and no one most likely has ever taught you what to do with it. You learn how to make lists and you learn how to make a filing cabinet with folders that are alphabetized, but that's typically it. So what happens is you put things in piles and then you keep piling and piling and piling until maybe you even have rooms that you don't go in because they feel so overwhelming. My goal is to help you to get unstuck. And I have a dream of a command central on every desk because I literally believe it will change the world. So let's talk about the three categories where we're going to organize our minds. And the first one is just things with which you engage daily. This includes your calendar, context-based next actions list, emails to zero, and the landing spots. I'll go over those briefly. So first is your calendar. I love using a Google Calendar. I loved my paper calendar, but Google Calendar works really well for me because I'm coordinating with my husband and my family, and it's easy to make changes on a digital device. So I use Google Calendar on my phone, super simple. The other part though is you need a part of your calendar that keeps track of tasks that have to be done on that specific day. Now, if you're doing a digital calendar, you could have all day tasks that would include your basic checklist. What I do is I use a Franklin Covey planner and I have a little task list on the left-hand side of the page where I write down the things that have to be done that day. It's usually a simple list and I make sure throughout the day I'm looking over it and before I go to bed at night, I just check and make sure all the things have been done. Okay, next, let's talk about the context-based next actions list. When we're getting things done and organizing them by context, that means we're looking at where we are when the task is actually happening. So are we at home? Are we using our phone, running an errand, at the computer? Are we having a discussion? What I do is just use a little bookmark here inside my planner, and I have it organized with home, <laughs> errands to discuss, computer, phone, and then one for to pray about, okay? The basic idea is that when you have time in these contexts, let's say I'm out running errands, I just open this up and look at my errands list and say, oh yeah, I was gonna get some investing books at the library. Or if I'm jumping on the computer, I say, oh yeah, I needed to find a dentist for our new insurance, right? Super simple, but a little context-based next actions list is going to do wonders for you. Then let's talk about emails to zero. So many people think that sounds like a fantasy, but we get hundreds of emails every single day but they're organized and I don't really spend a lot of time in my email inbox. The way this happens is I do a lot of filters, a lot of unsubscribes, I do use unroll.me, which I love, and we have some things that are delegated in the business to our team. But when you have simple action folders and when you learn how to process emails quickly and you learn how to use that two minute rule, all of a sudden an overwhelming email inbox that's holding a lot of tasks turns into a simple, clear way to process messages. And I feel zero overwhelm when it comes to email. And then finally, we just have our landing spots. When my children were little, they'd get home from school and they would just throw papers in my lap. <laughs> and people would come over and give me a flyer or all these things would just land in my lap. What we want are physical and digital landing spots that are consolidated. So you just have one little inbox to check or one place on the kitchen counter where your children can put things or just a few places online where your messages come. Okay, so that's the goal. Then we're gonna go ahead and move to the engage weekly. If you think about it, these engage daily tasks are really doable. So now we look at engage weekly and I actually schedule some time once a week to do a weekly review. I process my inbox that's here behind me and I go through and look at my current projects for the week, a very short list of the multi-step tasks that I wanna do. I have a little chalkboard over there where I keep my current projects for the month and I make sure they're updated and every week I look at that list so it feels really good and really doable. 
The routines list. I keep this inside of asana.com, A-S-A-N-A.com. It is a great way to organize routines and then you can set little alerts to come to you when you need them if there's a routine that you consistently forget. But Asana holds all of my routines for my personal and family work and for our business. So I can just check it, I get a little daily email, it's not overwhelming, and I know that for the most part, routines are going to get done, and any essential routines are going to come to me as an alert. But I keep the alerts really, really minimal, so I don't feel overwhelmed by that. We also have things like the waiting list for things that you're waiting for someone else to act on, your goals, hopefully you have a few goals that you're working on that feel really exciting for you this year. And then finally, read and review. That's just a basket of things that I have downstairs. Um, flyers, some information, little booklets, things that I wanna look at, catalogs, right? Or I have a digital read and review inside of evernote.com. But that way I have a place every week I can do a quick review and my mind can go into the week knowing all the details are handled and I feel excited about the coming days and the projects that I'm working on for our business or for our home and our family or for my personal life. And then finally, we have engage as needed. Now that's a lot of what you see behind me over here. First is your filing cabinet. So I have a couple filing cabinets here. I do digitize a lot using evernote.com, but there are some things I do enjoy keeping in a filing cabinet. We use freedomfiler.com, which is awesome. That helps me organize all my files so I can rotate files and nothing in there ever feels old. It's all fresh, it's all active, it's all current and up to date. And I used to have a to file pile, but I don't have that anymore because now it feels amazing. Next, we have our support materials. Those are the little cubbies that you see behind me. I have cubbies that organize things for my business or my family or activities at church, our social um, correspondence. Having cubbies that organize the papers that we need for our children or our business or our family, it's amazing because whenever I have project time and I sit down to work, I know exactly which cubby to use, I know which materials to bring out of the cubby, and then when I'm done doing my work, I can put it back. So it eliminates those piles of things that used to sit on my desk, but it makes it really accessible. That's what the support materials will do for you. Next, we have our tickler file. That is my little folder up there. I actually have 12 folders, one for each month. And whenever there is a piece of paper or some information that is date specific that I need to access next month on the 13th or something like that, I can go directly to that folder and I have it uh, referenced on my calendar. So as I'm about to head to an event and I need to grab that piece of paper, it's in the tickler. A lot of times I used to put those things on my fridge, so I would just have magnets and <laughs> things all in my fridge, and that felt really overwhelming. Now the tickler does that job for me. Then finally, we have the someday file and the incubation file. Those are my two little magazine holders up there. I've got file folders in there, so when there's this piece of paper and I think, ah, oh, I don't know if I need this at all, I'm gonna incubate it. If there's something that's a someday, oh, I might want this someday, I really do want to move forward on it, I just can't do it right now, put it in some way. And then someday, and then I review those like once a month. The whole goal is to have a system so that when you get piles of stuff that comes in, either by the mail, or because you just went to a conference, or because someone from your family just came and needed to give you some things, or you've got bills, or you've got invitations, or you have a lot of different opportunities to move forward on projects that will be great for your life. You don't need to put them all in piles all over your desk. All you need to do is go through a simple series of questions, which we teach inside our STEP program, Steps to Everyday Productivity, and then you know exactly where those things belong so your brain can rest. When your system does the work of remembering, then your mind can feel calm and your mind will feel more creative. If you're trying to hold all the details in your head, you most likely feel like that stretched rubber band. You're trying to make sure you don't drop anything and often that causes stress so you don't sleep at night and you have maybe a little pit in your stomach and you don't even want any more ideas or any more opportunities because it just feels like it'd be one more thing that would just clog up your life. I wanna help you to have a simple, seamless system. And if you want to come and learn more, we have an amazing program called Steps to Everyday Productivity that is going to teach you the steps that you need to know to build your command central, to get everything set up in a seamless way. And even if you have years of backlog, we're going to help you to move forward quickly and then to take care of all that backlog. So moving forward, 
you never have piles of stuff ever again. I know it sounds too good to be true, but we are receiving testimonials from people in our program literally every day. It is time for you to have a clean, clear, organized life, and we would love to have you join us. So if you're already in our Steps to Everyday Productivity program, make sure you log in. You have lifetime access. We want you in. We want you building your Command Central, and then we want you to make it change your life so that you can use your skills and abilities to change the world. If you're not yet in our program, we have a free introductory class at learndobecome.com forward slash step. Come join us, come sign up, pick a time that works for you. Learn four simple steps to help you finally stop drowning in piles, and then come join our program and come learn how to build your whole command central because you are going to have that calm mind and that mental clarity that you've dreamed about and we cannot wait to serve you. So we will see you either inside the program or in our free class at learndobecome.com forward slash step.